shiny in here. I want to say I remember a manuscript page being in here, but I could be wrong. That is quite possible. Let me go on there. There's a truck. Alright, I got the fucking car! So we left the keys! Yeah! Ha, diggity damn. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. wasn't far now. Says you. Well, that's far enough by that pan. Fuck. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Poetic. I like it. Can I drive this? Hey, I can. Cool. And I apparently remember how to drive. By little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. It's really nice in the daytime. Uh, I hope this doesn't kill me. Oh, I probably could just walk down from that direction. Yeah, well. Fuck it. Now, I know I'm probably going to be missing some of the manuscript pages down here that you can legit get and find, but again, I already have. That's why I've got them all already. So I'm not too worried about going out of my way to make sure that I get them. Ooh, although, what is in here? Hello? <gasps> Radio time! This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBFFM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger. Yeah. A lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not <laughs> in that order either. Now, folks. I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note... I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. <gasps> but first, a little music. Uh oh. Damn. Oh, oh wait, no, there's a car. I do not want to make the mistake of going on foot. Because I remember it's a fucking trek and a half. I mean, going on foot's a great way to make sure you don't miss anything, but if you can avoid it, you know. I mean, actually, of course, just fucking drive a lot better. Alright, so, gotta get to the fucking kidnapper guy, that guy with the hat, who, you know, I'm shouting at him, give me the gun, and he's, no, that's not how the story goes. And I'll but change the story real quick by shooting your ass. Hello? What's this? Kind of like that car. I think I'm going to take that car. Nice car. Porta potty. This is actually making me think of Firewatch right now. Uh, from what I know, it's a indie game in a first person perspective, but it's kind of like a. Uh, it's sort of hinting at a. Um, let me make sure something back here. Nope. Kind of a weird mystery kind of thing going on, and I guess that's the coal mine. Before that, let's listen to Pat some more, shall we? 
Wait, wait. There you are. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Oh, oh well. We're talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. <laughs> See, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything. But what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say... It's shaking a few things loose. Yeah, okay. So, talking about love, blah, 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 all that shit. I don't know about that personally, about the whole one person, I, you know, that's kind of where I'm in. I, I kind of agree with the dog. It's like, I don't really like the idea of there just being one. Because, again, it is like, well, fuck, if I miss that one shot, that really blows. In a nice car for a good trip. Oh yeah. You and me are going places, car. To the coal mine. Specific. Oh. I hope that whoever's the owner of this car has insurance. Cause I don't. And they'll be fucked. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. God, son of hell. Ooh, what's this? Uh, excuse me. Uh, while there were some early residents in the area, the true genesis of the town of Bright Falls came with the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Company and the opening of the Bright Falls Coal Mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many immigrants, Germans, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, among others, worked the mines. No Irishmen? God damn it. Ah, well, we potato eaters come in regardless. Oh, well, lucrative at first. The mining sadly declined in the 20th century. Uh, the seams were rich, but hard to get at. Seams. Huh. And the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. Can they? Huh. Interesting. Look at all that shit. I'm kind of more surprised there's no one here to possibly, you know show it around, but they probably do that on a tour basis, I bet. Got a page! Uh, Sarah in the radio station. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Yeah. Uh, in 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Caution! All that shit! I didn't want to go outside. 
Cops had to be looking for me. So I'll take a seat in the middle of the room. Turn the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Oh, fuck. Hello? Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? Oh. Big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him! Alright. Well, there we go. Well, then so we shall, since the asshole has. Shit! Fuck was that? Oh. Damn! Maybe closer than ever before. Ooh. Damn, darkness is not happy with me. Not one motherfucking bit. Fuck. Oh. Wake, this is a bad idea, buddy. Really bad idea. Oh. Uh, Thomas. Thomas Zane, yeah. Thomas Zane in love with Barbara Yeager. Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jack. Jagger. Whoops. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words strong and sharp. She was his muse. That's well, woman for you. Somehow, usually, they help you find the right way. That's really nice when it happens. Alright, what else do we have here? Shit, tons of revolver ammo. I wonder what we're gonna be doing. Okay. There it is! Alright, we got rid of the big one. That's nice. Oh, hi. Nope. Yeah! Fuck you, monsters. Oh, hell. Oh, come now. Okay. I'm just gonna try to stay behind shit. There it is. Fucking hell. Oh, now what? Oh. No! Well, hopefully that thing doesn't come back. Shit. Flashbangs. Yeah, those are really good. Really, really good. Alright. No. What? Ow. Yes! Alright. So far, not so bad right now. So far. What the fuck was that? What the fuck is going on? Something is pissed and won't get out. Really bad. Really, really bad. I'm just gonna climb in here. You you keep being crazy in there. Okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 